Hi, good morning. Good morning. So you guys have two different places. That is the same place. Then you should have mask. Yeah, yeah. We are in different places. Not in the studio. Yeah. Okay. Very lonely business. Still coming. Hi, Prem. Welcome. So these are the studios. We have uh, the <coughs> studio here. Um, they're, they're supported by the class of 1982 and LNT Technology Services. And uh, two of them are classroom studios uh, capable of uh, hosting 100 students each. And one is a virtual studio where uh, faculty can uh, do something with special effects behind them. Uh, enigmatically, they have been named Phi E and Phi. So keeping with our traditions in the campus. So, good evening, everyone from LNT Technology Services. Uh, we now request you uh, we request uh, Dr. Keshav Panda, CEO and MD of uh, LNT Technology Services, uh, to please declare uh, the classroom studio supported by LNT and Technology Services. Yeah, I declare the uh, studio open. Thank you. Thank you. Here, but uh, the next best thing we can have is that you're all watching from wherever you are. So, let us thank you very much for your support, sir. We are going to first walk into your studio and you can see visuals from your studio in a moment. We are now entering the studio supported by LNT Technology Services. So this is a studio which can seat uh, 100 people and uh, we have a lot of audiovisual support uh, plus a green screen there. So when faculty make any presentations, if they have slides, those can be flashed uh, behind them in the so video. Regular class plus, plus a studio. Record. Yes. So whenever somebody wants to teach a regular class, it's also an input. Yes, they can directly schedule record. It, yes. They can schedule the class here. The students get to see the displays uh, which are okay, up front. Yes, yes. We can just fill it up slot wise. And the faculty gets to see the display back here so that uh, they can get an idea of uh, what they are seeing, uh, what they are presenting and how it is being presented. And uh, the control room uh, uh, staff can uh, view the classroom from behind that. Uh, is the air conditioning silent? So it's got all the professional lighting which can be moved around as necessary based on... Uh, manually. Yes, they're manually there to be set. don't need to keep moving it. Right? Yeah, they don't have to be moved around. We had the option of a drop-down screen versus this, but this was the largest we could fit in here at the moment. So we have uh, done this for the moment. We'll run it by, I mean, a few classes and see. Just open. So we're now going to look at the control room of one of the studios. So this is the control room uh, facility and uh, so the uh, audiovisual staff can sit here and monitor uh, the recording that's uh, going on and to make any changes what or such. No, there are more, more than one camera. So they can do that. Yes, it can go here. They can see multiple things and mix, uh, mix the video as uh, Sir, I now request you to inaugurate the uh, virtual studio, which is also a green match studio. Next, we'll have them. The, yeah, Mahesh. Doctor, Professor Mahesh is our dean, alumni and corporate relations, and uh, this studio, Hello, is, this studio is the uh, uh, virtual studio or green match studio. It has a special background, so people can you know be surrounded by you know whatever. You can have uh, oceanographies, whatever you want. The universe can be behind you, and you can take a class. Please go ahead. So the sir, the intention of the studio is with the full green background, you can surround yourself with any uh, you know any audio visual, any visual basically. Yeah, you can stand and if, if you remove this table, basically you can surround yourself with anything. I mean uh, any scenery from anywhere. Yeah. 
an underwater underwater scene or space scene. So that can be dynamic as well. Yes, yes, yes. That can be a complete. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a video playing, which is basically your background. So. So this design, this is designed for that. So there are no this student is, uh, seating here. This is almost movie quality. Product. Yes, this is movie quality uh, production kind of thing. Yeah, we can take a quick look. So this is the other control room. Yeah, it's identical. Yeah, identical. Identical, okay. but the, it's like it's a natural. Okay. <laughs> so, so these are uh, yeah. representatives of the class of 1982. Mr. Venkat Raman Subramanian, Shankar. So we are now inaugurating the second uh, classroom studio, identical to the one uh, which we just saw, the same hundred seater kind of studio. I request uh, representatives of the class of 1982 who have supported this classroom to please do the honors of cutting the ribbon. Hey. <laughs> so we now invite you all to the classroom. Please come. So this is identical to the other classroom. Same kind of seating, same kind of uh, facilities. Sir, I request uh, you to join us on stage. Good evening to everyone here and whoever is watching the live streaming of this event too. So we'll start off with the welcome address. It will be given by Professor Andrew Tangaraj. A brief profile about him. He is a professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Madras. He is a coordinator of NPTEL since October 2011. And he's been instrumental in initiating the NPTEL certification by offering courses online. He's a National MOOCs coordinator for NPTEL in the Swayam project, alumnus of IIT Madras BTEC 1998 uh, batch, a PhD from Georgia Tech University. He joined as a faculty in IITM in 2004. He's one of the initiators of IITM's BSc in Programming and Data Science program the latest initiative from us and is a coordinator of the program as well. So I invite him to extend the welcome address to everyone present here and those who have joined us on our live streaming. Thank you. Thanks for the introduction. Thanks to everyone who's here physically and thanks to everyone who's joined uh, virtually as well. It gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, Professor Bhaskar Ramurthy, Director of IIT Madras. is also the Chairman of NPTEL's uh, Program Implementation Committee and uh, he's been uh, really giving us good direction on what uh, what we should be doing and helping us out, supporting us through tough times and, good, and help, congratulating us when we do good things. So it's been a pillar of support for us. Thank you, sir. Uh, I also have a great pleasure in welcoming two of the sponsors of uh, these studios. There are two studios uh, that we have here. Uh, one studio is sponsored by class of 1982 uh, to represent that class. We have Mr. Venkatraman Subramanian, who's here with us physically today. Uh, welcome, sir. And uh, we also have the other studio, which is sponsored by LNT Technology Services. Uh, Dr. Keshav Panda, CEO and MD of LNT Technologies, LNT Technology Services. Uh, he's here with us virtually, uh, joining us uh, on VC. You can see him on the screen uh, right there. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Uh, also joining us on stage is Professor Mahesh Panchagnola. He's Dean for Alumni and Corporate Relations at IIT Madras. Uh, he's the man has been uh, quietly doing work behind the screens, uh, behind the scenes, and getting us all the funding that we need for building this fantastic uh, infrastructure. Thank you very much for your support. And I would also like to uh, welcome uh, everyone who's uh, present here. We have chairman of our uh, continuing education center, Professor Devendra Jalihal, who's here in person. I would also like to welcome uh, members of uh, the engineering unit. Uh, quite a few of them are here, and without uh, their support, this place wouldn't have been built up. I would like to welcome the coordinators of NPTEL. There are four coordinators today. You can see the sense of uh, how much it has grown. Uh, there are four coordinators. Uh, there's Professor Pratap, uh, there's me, and then uh, Professor Vignesh, who's here, Vignesh Muthivijayan of Biotech uh, Department, IIT Madras, and Professor Niket Kaisari is also here. And I would also like to welcome, among the people who are uh, watching this uh, remotely, all the faculty 
who are involved in creating content for NPTEL. NPTEL started, as you know, in uh, all the way back in year 2000 or so as a very small project. Slowly, we started creating content in about uh, 20 years now. More than 2,000 courses have been created. And particularly, the last seven years have been very fruitful. We've offered online courses with certification. Every semester today, we offer uh, more than 500 courses and 20 lakh students across the country do these courses. And more than two and a half lakh students every semester write exams and earn certificates from IIT and uh, you know, further their careers, etc. So it's been a, a tremendous scaling up that we've been able to do. And this wouldn't have happened without the support of the institute, support of sponsors and support of everybody involved. Uh, as you, some, as some of you may recall, uh, a few years back, April 12th, 2000, April 12th, 2017, to be precise, our older studios burnt down in a fire. In spite of all the safety precautions that we take, there was a fire and burnt down. And uh, this new studio is uh, sort of taking the place of that. And uh, in spite of, you know, fires and so many other setbacks, NPTEL has always grown in strength and numbers. And uh, some of the important people behind that is the dedicated staff that we have under the leadership of Bharti. I would like to welcome all the staff of NPTEL who are here uh, amidst us. Uh, once again, I, I, I would uh, like to welcome all the audience members who are watching this on uh, on the live streaming uh, NPTEL team and other offices of NPTEL. NPTEL is an inter-IIT project, as many of you know. We have seven different older IITs and IASC where there are offices, and I would like to welcome them uh, who are here. Uh, definitely the faculty who teach courses on NPTEL. I think I have to mention them especially because all this is for them. They have to come here, teach, and uh, and benefit from this and help out everyone who's interested in learning. Uh, last but not the least, I would like to welcome uh, learners of NPTEL, members of the local chapter colleges who are maybe watching this program. Uh, welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, next, I would like to call upon Professor Mahesh. Uh, Professor Mahesh Panchagnala, he uh, is a professor in the Department of Applied Mechanics. He's the Dean of Alumni and Corporate Relations at IIT Madras. He's also a BTEC from IIT Madras, batch of 1992, obtained his PhD from Purdue University. He's a faculty associate of IIT Madras Incubation Cell and National Center for Combustion R&D. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to this evening's uh, function. It's remarkable to see uh, IIT Madras go through this evolution from being, uh, uh, you know, a very prestigious place to study when I graduated in 1992 to this really swanky world-class teaching facility, uh, which has now been materialized thanks to the support of a lot of well-wishers. Um, teaching is, uh, teaching and good teaching, student-centered teaching is part of the very DNA of IIT Madras. Thousands of alumni that I talked to vouch for it, that their lives have been impacted for the better, thanks to professors here who went out of the way to make their stay at IIT Madras, their learning process at IIT Madras, uh, a little more fruitful and comfortable for them. Uh, facilities such as this take that DNA to the world outside. We are now, through programs like NPTEL, through programs like the BSc Online uh, online BSc in programming and data science, able to take that culture to the country at large and possibly the world. Um, facilities such as this are essential to uh, make that transition in a seamless and in a uh, in a scaled uh, fashion. Uh, I particularly want to uh, thank the support of the class of 1982 uh, who have uh, helped us create the studio that we are in right now. I also want to acknowledge the the uh, efforts of our vice president in our Office of Institutional Advancement, Sujata, who has diligently worked with the class to help them create this facility. Uh, I also want to thank Dr. Keshav Panda, Dr. Uh, Ms. Kane Prabhakaran, uh, Anuradha Basu from LNTTS for supporting this initiative is this is uh, going to be a game changer for for students and learners in the country at large. And I also want to acknowledge the efforts of uh, uh, Priya Sundaram, a senior vice president in our Office of Institutional Advancement, who has been very diligently working with LTTS against nearly impossible deadlines 
to make this uh, facility happen for us. Thank you, sirs. Uh, thank you uh, for all your efforts uh, and thinking of us uh, to make this happen. Lastly, uh, while we are all in this studio that's going to uh, create a world of, create a learning world for the students out there uh, and a teaching world for the professors here, the scale up process going forward cannot happen without well wishers like LTTS and the class of uh, 1982. Please do not stop with just being financial supporters of these, uh, of the creation of these facilities. Please embrace the students that are going to come through the program, mentor them, help them be more successful citizens and individuals uh, and positive contributors to the society. There are many ways by which you can become partners in this whole learning process for the students and uh, uh, in this programs, in these programs, both in NPTEL as well as the BSc program. We welcome you to explore uh, those opportunities as well. Thank you again, and uh, we look forward to a long and fruitful partnership with both the uh, contributors. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mahesh. Um, Mr. Venkatraman Subramanian is here with us, representing the class of 1982 of IIT Madras, which has been generous enough to contribute to the building of these studios. Mr. Venkat is currently the VP of Engineering Hitachi Vantara. He has been with Oracle for about 13 years and in various senior leadership positions in companies like Spicehouse, Data Guys, Waterline Data in the USA in the last couple of years. We invite him now to say a few words. Thank you for saying just a few words, and I will keep it to a few words. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm honored to represent a class of 1982. Um, and, and I just start with a small story here. Um, I've been thinking about, you know, what we are doing here. Um, and it kind of takes me back about, you know, almost 44 years when some of my cohorts here are in the audience. And, and when we walked into the campus, um, we actually had, had really no notion of, of what life is going to be like. Over the next five years, we got about the best education possible and, and that no amount of money can buy, right? So, and, and truth be told, we also didn't pay very much. I mean, thinking about the, the semester fees and, and, and the uh, uh, room rent and, and also the hostel uh, mess fees and so on and so forth. At that point, I don't think any of, our, any of my classmates even gave any, any kind of th you know, thought to um, how this was possible, right? This, how, how this education was being provided to us. But when we went into the, uh, uh, into the real world, we realized that education is really a big business, and especially quality education can cost a lot. Right? That's when it hit us that somehow somebody made that possible. That's actually all the faceless people of India. So that's when you kind of realize that for all that they have done to you, you need to do something in return. Right? So which, which is kind of you know, what, what brings us here to, you know, to, this, uh, to this place as well. So um, the challenge when you have such, such a sentiment is to actually find a channel that is trustworthy and is also doing a service that's kind of apt for what you have in mind. And I have to say that ID Madras actually kind of you know, meets all, all of those requirements, 100%. Right? And there are so many options. And so a couple of years ago for the 35th um, uh, year of um, anniversary for, for the graduation you know, on, on campus, you know, some of us got together and we were talking about, you know, again, giving back. And we were not quite satisfied with what we had done you know, after the 25th. So that's how this whole uh, exercise started. So we started looking at, you know, what is it that we can, uh, we can contribute towards? So the one thing we kind of settled on is a water center that was, I think, coming up at the other campus. And, and, and as, as you all know, between climate and environment, you know, those are uppermost in everybody's mind, but water is a big thing. You know, it, it's quite possible that there could even be like a World War III, right, just, just on water. So until that moment, we thought that's what we would actually be funding. And, and we are known about NPTEL, it's not like we didn't. But then we just heard that there was a fire that gutted the entire studio. Then it's almost like, you know, just flipping a switch. We said, that's the one we should really focus on. And why is that? That NPTEL, I mean, Mahesh was talking about this, and Professor Tangaraj was actually talking about this as well, is that the education that we all get, we all get here, to us just a select few, it's now being made available to the entire country, right? Anybody outside can get this. So that kind of brings this one full cycle, you know, circle for me. So that best education that no amount of money can you know can can buy is not is not available to anybody who actually has the 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 uh, inclination to, to to reach out and learn. So that's what NPTEL does does. And also, I think if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, Pratap, I think between thirty and forty thousand 
faculty around the country also take courses in this. That means they're also upping you know, their, their own skills. So we all hear about how some of the colleges produce students who are really not fit for employment. I may be using somewhat of an you know, um, extreme terms, but, but, but it's, 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 it's somewhat true. But I think this kind of availability of courses to those students can only really up the, you know, the levels at which they, they're going to graduate. So what NPTEL has actually done is, is really raise the level of technical education in India. Right? So what started, I guess, as a, as a vision for Professor Anand is now, I think, Professor Bhaskar Ramothi's mission to actually raise it multiple levels. So that's what you're seeing now. So it is definitely an honor um, for us. And then actually, actually, I would like to thank the Institute for giving us this opportunity. So thank you all. Uh, Dr. Kesha Panda is the CEO and Managing Director of LNT Technology Services. His bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering is from Anna University, Chennai, postgraduate degree in aerospace engineering from IIC Bangalore, and PhD from the IIT Bombay in aero servo elasticity. Dr. Panda has over 31 years of experience in research, conceptualizing, creating, operationalizing, and turning around complex technology and engineering businesses. Dr. Panda was recognized as CEO of the year for 2019 by news channel CNBC Awas in recognition of his contributions to the engineering and technology sectors over the last three decades. LNT is also another big donor, as we've heard uh, previously, for the construction of our studios. Over to Dr. Panda. Uh, Professor Ramuti, good evening, all of you. Professor Ramuti, Director, IIT uh, Madras, and all the professors. Uh, before I say anything, I want to first salute you, all the professors in IIT uh, and outside. Uh, you have a big role in nation building. You guys are doing a wonderful job, and whatever we are today, nation is today all because of your contribution. Uh, last night, Tubro is a company. Uh, we have been involved last 80 plus years in nation building. I always joke when I go to any customer around the world. I've been here last 22 years now. And you can't go to India without touching LNT. The airport you land, built by LNT. The road you drive, built by us. The power supply, the hotel you stay, is by last night, Tubro. And earlier days, you know, the, the circuit baker or the meters used in hotel, built by LNT. And the car you drive, the you know, refinery built by LNT, the petrol pump when you go to gas station, you go to by Larson Tubro. This company, Larson LNT Technology Services, we built around 2009. And I used to be a scientist and they show inside to satellite. We work in LCA program after my education. I'm very closely associated with Indian sub science. We do a lot of work in IAC as well as in IIT, IIT Madras as well, engineering work, technology work. I always believed next 100 years is for India. Now, the average age of India is 28 years, 29 years, compared to the Western world, 39 to 40 years, and China is also of the same range. The two areas we need to focus as a country, one is education, and second one is the healthcare. Education and healthcare is so important for Indian uh, you know, system now. There are a lot of people, you know, we see the stock market, we see people in Mumbai, Chennai, and Bangalore, there are a lot of people below poverty still. So it is important that if you want life, you touch educating them in a village and we change, transform completely India as a whole. I see India 20 years ago, 30 years ago, every time you go and come back and look at it. And same thing true in America as well. You will see New York and SFO, San Francisco. We always talk about how US is the biggest country, richest country in the world. I have gone to the remote area in America. They are no different from what is in, in uh, India. So I think it is, as a human being, forget about whatever role we play, we have a responsibility and it, nothing can replace education. And I, I remember my father used to say, I come from a village and I was in Chennai, I've seen 40 Tamil movies. I can speak Tamil as well. I have been there in Chennai for a long time. But let me tell you, my father used to say, education is number one, nobody can take what you learn. So I think that brought us to all the children you know, all my siblings, everybody did very, very well. And I'm very passionate about the engineer, engineers. I have 17,000 employees today. Every time I talk to engineers, do you know engineering? Do you know engineering? Today, unfortunately, more than teaching students, I believe NPTEL can help the, you know, the faculty in different engineering colleges. A lot of faculty, I think they need education more than students need hundreds of engineering colleges around India today. And those faculty, if you don't have quality education, they do not give the students, 
I don't think future looks so good. So my request to, I think you, this is an excellent initiative. I got a call from Prabhakaran and said, you know, I have been very closely associated with Indian Institute of Science, uh, you know, for quite some time now. And Prabhakaran called me and said, IIT Madras, there is something like this opportunity we have. Do you want to do that? I said, please go ahead. Education and healthcare, any opportunity comes. We have a lot of ambulances we have donated. We do a lot of work. But money giving is, is one thing. But engineering and technology using for the benefit of people, betterment of people, I think we all have a responsibility. We are very fortunate to be what we are today. But I think all of us in, in this, and especially the professors uh, in IIT, and you guys are doing it. I've seen a lot of professor association with professors in IIT, IAC. I've gone to IIT Kanpur uh, you know, very recently. We do some work with them as well. And I think it's doing an amazing job. I think the future of India, more than anything else, anybody else, depends on you. And you are doing an amazing job selflessly, very passionately, what you do, keep it up. And industry collaboration, I think much more has to be done. You need to be much more. And today, I see IAC director is much more involved. We had a committee earlier, Randurai was there. Professor, uh, I, director IAC was also there. So a lot more we can do. Money is not a problem today. I don't think money is a problem. Com companies are doing well and willing to support, but we support in the right place. And not support give the money to people, but create something where the future looks good. So it's a great honor to be here uh, on behalf of my 17,000 employees in 30 countries around the world. It's a great honor. And uh, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. And we look forward to associating ourselves with you, uh, IIT Madras, uh, for a long term. Not just this uh, in this initiative, but much more exciting work in engineering and technology we can do together, which will take us to the next level and India will continue to sign. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, sharing your thoughts on this. Next, we invite Professor Bhaskar Ramurthy, Director of IIT Madras, who is also the Chairman of the NPTEL project. He started writing a profile for him. Then we said, okay, he needs no introduction, so we're not going to introduce him today. So he can come and share. Thank you very much. Uh, am I audible, Dr. Panda? Yes, I can hear you well. Okay. So, um, and all the others, I, maybe there are other people from class of 1982 also watching. So on behalf of the Institute and all my colleagues and all students, uh, known and unknown of NPTEL, I want to first, Straight away, thank LNT Technology Services and the class of 1982 for their generous contribution to make this classroom for NPTEL possible. See, we have always had studios. In fact, we had one classroom like this, I think, before the thing got burned down, which was not built for this. It was built as a normal classroom, but got converted to NPTEL studio. And... Um, we now need to actually uh, create the facility where more teachers can offer an NPTEL course even while they teach their regular class here. Otherwise, you have to do it separately. You know, you have to, uh, So, this, these two rooms actually enable that. And, you know, we can run four, five, six courses a day. So, you can disenable straight away something like 12, 15 courses a year, um, a semester to be taught simultaneously to the class of IIT, at IIT and to students at large. Uh, we will create more such facilities as we need them. So that is really the uh, crux of this facility. Um, just to teach uh, online, you don't need such a big classroom, small studios and all. Um, and as people have pointed out, I think uh, the NPTEL program, which is jointly run by the IITs, IISC, and a few other institutions have chipped in also, is a very, very major program. You know, in many things in India, when we do things at scale, we don't talk about it too much. Others don't realize it. Okay. Uh, people talk about a lot of, I mean, this is true of everything, whether it's Kumbh Mela or whether it is uh, NPTEL right or even upi so this is really happening at scale and uh, different students are and colleges are benefiting from it to the level they need uh, and i think uh, that's where it's all it's all sort of offered like an a la carte and people take what they want uh, we are we have partnerships with almost 2000 institutions we, are, we call them local chapters we therefore have feedback loops we understand what they get what they don't get it's not that we just broadcast it and forget about it it's not like that 4000 I have not kept track. We have not had a review meeting recently. So, I think the point is, uh, we are therefore, actually the IIT system therefore is connected very closely to the engineering education, science, science education system in the country. Uh, 
There are only 30 odd thousand colleges in the country. We already have 4,000 who are partners. So you can see the level of connect. Okay. And now we have launched this online BSc program. So that's really if the learnings from all of this, you know, figuring out how to do this right. We are now uh, reaching out to students across the country and maybe across the world ultimately to offer them a really high quality degree program in something that will also be uh, a knowledge and skill set, which will also make them highly employable. And uh, it's early days, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but it looks very good. Looks like we are on the right track. And uh, I'm very happy that LNT Technology Services has also contributed significant amount for scholarships to students in that program. Because, uh, you know, uh, the, that program is not subsidized by the government. And in a way, I'm happy it's not. I think it, we will find, we, will find uh, we are finding already that I think we'll probably raise more money from philanthropy for supporting those who need uh, than we ever, uh, than the government ever spent without, you know, in an untargeted fashion uh, over the whole population. So um, this is actually uh, working out very well. It's very exciting. I think I'm looking forward really to the uh, uh, to very carefully curated online programs, not across the board in everything under the sun, but very carefully curated programs where employment potential is high, where interest among the students is high, and where we can therefore reach out and provide to people all over the country um, and anywhere, actually, a very high quality education. We are also learning how to do it, combination of face-to-face -face meetings as well as online lectures. It's not we are not ideologically bound that it has to be only online or only this, only that. We are we'll use whatever works, but I think we'll get the thing right. So I'm very thankful to uh, LNT Technology Services for supporting both this classroom as well as that uh, scholarships for the needy students in that program. Class of 1982. What can I say? They're all you know just two years behind me. I am the class of 1980. I know many of them personally. I hosted a few of them and I was a student in the US when they landed up there. I This class is uh, close to me. Um, so I'm very glad they took this opportunity to be part of this, to actually sponsor one of these uh, uh, these uh, NPTEL classrooms. And uh, very grateful to them. I hope I look forward to their engagement in any way. You know, funding is one part of it, but actually in uh, different ways to engage with us, to engage with the students of uh, the upcoming generation. Um, you know, this is um, the next 20 years. I think Dr. Panda talked about 100, but 100 is too long. Next 20 years are going to uh, transform the face of this country. And uh, it's very difficult. I mean, I just real look back at the last 20 years and see how little of what has happened I foresaw. Uh, I just extrapolated what was 1990 like and thought a little bit faster, a little bit better. Never understood what was going on. And therefore, never really planned my own outlook of what was going to happen. Uh, we should make that mistake twice. I think we should understand what is going to happen in this country in the next 20 years and uh, make our own uh, outlook and our own focus of activities such that it aligns maximally with that so that we can do our little bit for the country before we go. So in that sense, I would say all of us are at a, at a very exciting point in time. Uh, people younger than us are even more at the right point in time in this country. And uh, therefore, uh, I thank uh, the class of 1982 also for this wonderful gesture. We are actually going to, uh, there's a huge ambience improvement program of the Institute now as part of the Institute of Eminence. In fact, all the old, uh, major, all the buildings built in the 60s, the big buildings are all going to be air conditioned centrally. Uh, classrooms are going to be air conditioned also. So uh, many, most of the classrooms in which class of 1982 and class of 1992 and class of 1980, all of us taught, learned. I really, pref I would, I'm relieved that I'm not having to teach in these classes. These are frightening. I <laughs> I like the old class where they, with a chalk piece in hand and a blackboard, I can walk about and uh, teach, but uh, uh, not used to this, but it's, got, it's going to change. I think now faculty will want to teach face to face, but also want to record everything and put it up on the, in the website. Students want to be able to revisit when they don't understand in class or they slept off in class as all of us did. Um, students, it's not going to be the same after this pandemic when they come back. Everybody will expect all the class recordings to be available. Everybody will expect... Uh, uh, you know, they'll expect all the pluses that they got from the online education without the negative that, uh, you know, it's, there's no face to face. They're going to expect both. So we have to enable. Uh, may not be, it may not be broadcast quality because you don't have to record it for broadcasting, but classrooms, all the classrooms across the institute will have a huge uh, step up. Uh, so will the buildings. The buildings are nice buildings. There's no doubt about them. They're all lovely buildings. Uh, structurally, they're very good, but we need to really, we are basically upping the level of finish, uh, the level of uh, support, you know, facilities and so on. We're also finally making them monkey free. So no monkeys in classrooms anymore. 
okay <laughs> coming too much to allow what used to allah have been viewer students uh, now the uh, faculty are complaining the students are complaining so they are all going to become keep monkeys are going to be on campus not in the class okay so thank you again uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, we are we are a very close partner valenti in many programs in the civil engineering department and uh, in, uh, you know and uh, we run programs with them do a lot of joint work with them on lean manufacturing lean construction and other things so um uh, the lnt group is a very close partner in any case they are very pleased that they have participated significantly in this program also also the class of 1982 we thank all of you thank all of you for coming this is the first face to face program i am participating in after the lockdown started last year thank you sir coming down to the last part where uh, we would like to thank the multitudes of people who helped make these studios happen i'd like to call upon professor pratap haridas he is a professor in the department of metallurgical and materials engineering in iit madras he did his btech in metallurgical engineering from iit madras batch of 1992 he got his phd from university of wisconsin madison usa he is a coordinator of nptel and the iitm bsc program he's been a key factor in the studios which we see here today right from the design stage working with architects finalizing every component of furniture and equipment that you see here ensuring that the work is completed on time by helping coordinate between the various vendors and stakeholders involved he has been literally on the site the last i think one week or 10 days from when we finalized this date and he's been driving everybody saying that we have to complete we have to complete i mean we had to mention this because he has been one driving force for getting these studios up and running and be ready for the inaugurations today so pratap for the we have thanked you you can thank the others so once again good evening everyone uh, it's my pleasure to uh, you know propose vote of thanks uh, i'm doing this on behalf of the nptel community uh the nptel office and staff uh, here at iit madras uh, as well as all the nptel offices uh, across the country uh, we have several of them uh, and the uh, nptel student community the local chapter community all of whom have a stake in this uh, activity uh, so i would like to begin uh, first of all by thanking our supporters uh, the lnt technology services and the class of 1982 uh, today there are a lot of uh, you know various uh, causes that are worthy of support truly worthy of support and so Uh, we are particularly uh, you know happy that you have chosen to support us uh, in in a journey that we have been along for a while and we and there's a lot of uh, you know distance to go so we are really uh, thankful to you for taking the time and the effort to look through what we are doing and deciding that this is something that is uh, worthy of uh, support um uh, at the institute we have had a lot of support uh, professor baskar ramurthy as uh, andrew mentioned uh, he's uh, the chairman of our program implementation com- uh, committee uh, he encourages us gives us lots of uh, new ideas Uh, i mean naturally being a director it's a very tight schedule uh, but still he's the person where you know uh, you can meet him in an elevator and he'll quickly give you an idea that is uh, worth looking at uh, at a moment's notice and you are always taken by surprise by that uh, i would like to uh, thank uh, dean academic courses uh, professor jagdish kumar because uh, when we uh, uh, when this uh, studio was being thought of, thought about uh, he quite readily gave us these three classrooms so we have we are kind of running full capacity in all our classrooms and uh, these classrooms had to be kind of you know stopped from uh, regular activity so that we could actually do some work on them uh, dean planning uh, professor dilji philip uh, who has been supporting the entire construction activity there's a lot of construction on campus and uh, so to uh, support every new activity takes a lot of effort we thank her for that um, dean alumni and corporate relations uh, professor, professor mahesh panchagnala um, he has been actually goading us that uh, we have not really you know uh, publicized our work enough Uh, and he always says that you know you should really showcase your work more uh, there are a lot of people uh, really keenly interested in uh, providing support and we need to do more to you know reach out to them um, he and his team have worked quite hard to help us uh, you know uh, present our uh, activities outside i would like to thank uh, the engineer engineering unit uh, chairman professor robinson uh, he has personally come here several times uh, including you know I sat in the furniture given his comments telling us that this is not uh, you know enough length and all that so that level of detail he has uh, participated in uh, in this process i thank him for that uh, from the engineering unit uh, mr manika vasagam mr ajay and mr ravi chandran uh, i have endlessly called them on phone many times and regardless of the time of the day they have been uh, happy to reach out to me and they tell me what can be done what cannot be done and how it can be done and so i'm really thankful to all three of them for that uh, continuous support our contractors a lot of contractors worked here i briefly wanted to mention it uh, sri constructions who did the civil works here 
uh, in space which did the furniture work here visual technologies which did all the audio vis uh, visual equipment uh, installation uh, the carpeting from matrix electrical work actually we had a lot of electrical work through the last few days mr shekhar and mr narayan swami purushottam who did a lot of work for us the signage all the signage that you see here from new design uh, uh, display and uh, uh, the you know the overall uh, um, person who kept track of all of this uh, this kalai selvi from uh, mac architects she is putting a lot of effort the entire uh, you know studio look the feel the, uh, the you know layout of the furniture the selection of the furniture at every stage she has been involved with us uh, and she has given a lot of inputs so everything you see here from the first drawing that was seen uh, to actually delivering it at this uh, level uh, we thank her for all those uh, efforts uh, to her and her team finally i would like to thank mr kanan krishnamurthy and mr uh, sagar ratnakar he's uh, the last several days he's been here in fact last night he was here till i think 4 in the morning to just finish up all the final activities here and incidentally i think it's today is his uh, birthday so he is somewhere here so we wish him a very happy birthday on this occasion and uh, for being with us uh, at midnight on his birthday until 4 am on his birthday so thank you very much and i would like to close of course by thanking uh, ministry of education and mh which was previously mhrd uh, they have been supportive of this program now almost approaching 20 years uh, consistently supporting us consistently consistently giving us more to do uh, challenging us and uh, you know going along in this journey with us so i thank you once again all of you uh, for joining us this uh, evening on this present occasion and i thank you for all the support thank you very much dr panda i just wanted to thank you again for attending this event and i wanted to also see if the if uh, uh, mr prabhakaran is also online along with anuradha uh, yes, anirudh basu hello sir thank you hello. for uh, working hello. against near impossible deadlines uh, thank you very much for yeah, making thanks. this happen I, you know i would i was going to suggest that one of these days you should come have a your own leadership meeting in the lntts studio we can beam you to the world from here and we have the best facilities please come use this facility as your uh, you know our campus is a resort in itself so sure. please come stay on our campus and have a leadership team meeting uh, with this as your facility we welcome you and we look forward to having you on campus sir thank you sir look forward to thank you thank you welcome thank you Bye -bye. i wanted to thank uh, mr prabhakaran thank you again very much thank you Thank you. 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 Thank you.